Boom. We're live. Um. Start with the normal stuff. I think we just jumped from zero to nine viewers <laughs> on Twitch. That's hilarious. Set back. I say this every time I stream, but this pack's all about hitting the ball down. And we, sh we should get the title change to Rocket League here in a little bit, but this one's all about hitting it down. And it's interesting practice because obviously in a real game, the ball's never going to be completely stable. Or not moving, right? Um, so it's kind of unrealistic in that manner, unless you're playing Rumble. But, uh,. I find it really valuable because you kind of get the time and the angle to like move your car about exactly how you want it so you can practice like a couple different ways to hit it like if I want to hit it with my butt maybe okay I could do it or I could go to the ceiling and come back down no see that's not it the real way is just not that that's how you miss the ball. Oof. I shouldn't have missed purposely so many times. Basically the plan for today is to, as always, do a lot of um, warm up and then since we got frame raised today, we're going to be playing ranked. Probably start with ones and then go to twos and threes. We might mix it up, but normally what I've been doing recently is I'll play ones. I'll play th so in each playlist, right? You play three games for sure, no matter what. But starting on like the third game, if you lose, you quit, and you play the next playlist. And so it, it's a pretty good balance of like playing the game not losing too much MMR not that I really care that much but I don't know it's a good rotation and if you're playing well in the day you know you'll go up a lot which is nice and it's a good way of like not sticking with bad days like having a clear limit to say like hey I don't want to play this anymore but also um, being able to continue playing good days, right? Because, like, if you just play until you lose, I think a lot of times you, you'll you miss that beginning part, and you'll just be done, and you won't really have any worthwhile training. But if you give yourself a few games no matter what, and then you can say, all right, now we just play till we lose, you're all warmed up, and then you can kind of go from there. So, yeah. Uh, we go to shooting consistency. This is exactly what it is. Shooting consistency. Hey, I'm on the screen. <laughs> it's like various angles and such, right? So you can practice just hitting it right every time. Like, I can hit most of these shots. 90, I don't know, I feel, feels inaccurate if I say 90% of the time, but most of these shots, I'll hit the majority of the time, right? And this is just to make, to get those numbers up. See, this one, there, that's off. No, that's hot. Just to get some practice with them and make sure that I keep that consistency in like a real game or something.
so. Shoot said look good, thank you. Uh, Doc Haskell had a lot of work in on this. I'm just kind of using it. <laughs> We're in the um, the battlegrounds. And we have a special dual monitor set up to stream. I know it's really great. It's exciting. And I've, yeah, I've done some like personal streaming, but it obviously doesn't look this good because one, I don't want, I don't use a face cam because that sounds like a lot of work. And also I don't have a, a camera, so, but yeah, it's, it's cool to be able to do this. Thank you. on it. Not my original intention, but no. There we go. That's some kind of tough angle to get. I'll sometimes go off the wall, but it's kind of like a fast wall. It's kind of uncomfortable. So I like to try to do it with an aerial, preferably. Both posts. Hit that post again. There we go. That one's not actually hard, I just couldn't do it for some reason. I mean, it's tough. But I don't normally have trouble with it. Would be a better way to put that. This one's kind of hit or miss. Sometimes I hit it on the first try, sometimes it takes me like 10 or like 11. Dang. There we go. Not too bad. Finally, backboard reads which are essential because people miss the goal a lot. Of course, not me. I, I always own goal, so that's not an issue. I wish like people made like 15, 20 minute podcasts to listen to while I did my warm up. Cause like, I'm not gonna warm up for like an hour so I can't do a full podcast. I'm not gonna listen to a podcast while I'm playing Rocket League, like a match, you know? But like, for my warm up? If anyone knows anything like that, or a good 15 minute video, sometimes I'll just watch YouTube videos on the, my other monitor at home. Let's see, next time I'm probably gonna end up... What was I saying? Um, I have a 
video assigned to me for school. That's like 40 minutes long. I didn't want us to watch before as even his first lecture. Uh, so I was just gonna put that on on the side, do like the dribbling challenge or something. Splash. All right, we are ready. Oh, I still have my Christmas stuff on. My banner. Let's see. I feel like I took that off. Guess not. What's cool, it's gonna be the color black so it matches the background of my profile picture. I think, well, what did I have before? I had, no, I had lightning. Or electrified, that's what it is. Yeah, that looks sick. Still no, oops. Still no um, painted Dominus in the store yet, and I feel like I've been lied to because the only reason I supported the store. Or even Dominus Payton's Dominus Suji, like, come on, give me something. Okay. Ah, uh, that's a bad flip. Oh, that's a goal. A lot of goals in one. There's some 30 minute. Sorry about the bot. If you want to send that to me on s Discord or I don't actually, I, I'm assuming this is Matt. Like if you wanted to send that to me on Slack or something, that would actually be super dope. It's not. Damn it, who is it? Discord, maybe? Twitter? I don't know. Anyway, you can go ahead and send me that link because I'm not going to come back to this VOD. Oh, Doomsy. I've been taking some fat L's recently in one, so. Hopefully this can turn it around. Once is hard because I feel like anybody can beat anyone in ones. Which like obviously not anybody, but like up to a certain point. Like within your skill level, it can be pretty hit or miss and it can be like hit or miss by a little big margins, you know? Like just missing one thing, right? Can even the game. That's like one of my things is in ones never forfeit. Cause like I've come back from six goals down with two minutes left, you know, like there the game's never over in one v ones. Like this guy just came back from two goals down <laughs> in like thirty seconds, right? And if Jarhe can do it, anybody can do it probably. I have no boost. Yeah, 
Yeah, boost. Oops. Oh, we good, we good, we good. Alright, he's not pushing. Oh! That was pretty sweet. I almost messed that up. I almost went way too high. Oh, I actually got really lucky. I got really lucky there. But the shot was still pretty sweet. I'm going to give it to myself. Oh, that's a nice shot. Tried to bait the flick. I wasn't ready for it. Yeah, I should have just gone at that point. Oh, no. Oh, I missed. That's all right. Do you know their rank? Um, normally, they're like basically the same as you. At home, I have soft, like a third party software that will show you the exact MMR that you're at. But after the game, generally, like you'll see their rank. But you don't really know like how up or how where they are in that rank, you know? Because like a diamond three about to hit champ one is barely is pretty different than a diamond three who just hit who just moved up from diamond and like some freak thing, right? So there's like pretty big variance in each rank, and you won't the matchmaking system will not tell you that. Oh, that's a good shot. No. We'll get one. But yeah, I would assume that this guy's either Diamond 3 or Champ 1, because that's about where I am right now. In 1s. And then in 2s and 3s, hopefully it's Champ 3 to Grand Champ. There we go. But I, I like to play 1s first. Thanks. Because it's a really good, like... Just mechanics warm up in that you are 100% on your own. My boost. Should be able to score off this. Yeah. But yeah, we won't know until the end is the right answer to that. Just got a boost. Come on, buddy. Oh, that was not a good play. Once it's very risky to like go in the air at all. So like for him to jump off and jump that far away was super risky, especially when he got such a a non good touch. Like it wasn't a bad touch, but it wasn't oh, that might also be another goal. I did not play that correctly. Damn. But even like up on the walls like that is dangerous because it's very easy to punish. Or up like that. If I had gotten a clean hit, that might have been a goal for me, but instead. Let's see this block of his, yeah. Intentional. Kickoff goals. Good, good noob. That was a good one. That was a good one. Hard to do anything about that. Let's watch it, buddy. Let's, whew, he turned up, turned around. Pretty sweet. These people always go for the boost there. Oh no, he bumped me. And he went and got boost. What an idiot. Some people, like that's another thing with ones, like you just lose your brain sometimes and it will just more result in the goal. But yeah, that guy thinking he could get boost just because I was bumped was... Pepega. Going for a ceiling shot on defense? Dude, what are you doing? But I can recover from this. 
And he's going for another ceiling shot. Just gonna wait it out. Miss the booze. Okay, that was one of the better goals I've scored in a while. To reverse backwards into it, and then jump. <laughs> and with like two seconds left, that's clean as hell. Not everyone plays Rocket League, but that was sick. GG, man, well played. Hey, I'm an ace. Everybody knows it. Yeah, so he, he was champ one. And like, typically, it's kind of weird, but like, someone's ones rank will, and so the standard, no one plays so standard. Someone's ones rank is way lower than their like twos and threes rank, which is just kind of the way it is, I guess. But like, people like me who are like low grand champ in twos and threes, right, are gonna be typically at least champ one in ones. But like, they're not gonna, unless like, one GCs are, one one's mains who are also like really high level hey thank you a lot of the most insane shots and like i don't know not to brag but like really good mechanical plays in rocket league like where you're just like whoa are just such so imp improvisationally based they're improvised right so like I didn't go into the corner with the plan of going backwards and missing a shot, but I, yeah, exactly. And I have no boost. This is going to be bad for me. I just need to delay him a little bit. Oh, nice. I missed. I missed a wide open net. That's embarrassing. We could run away. Oh, what are we doing here, buddy? I'll push that. He missed boost. But yeah, see how see how no one's jumping? Like compared to twos and threes, oh there are like no aerials in ones. It's more way more rare, right? Just because of how open it leaves your defense. Cause like in twos and threes you can you have another player to cover you unless they double commit, but generally, right? In ones it's it's just you. And if you get beat, you're screwed. Damn. Dang. We good. He has no booze. Yeah. He almost saved that. That was actually really close. See, after, after kickoff, everyone always goes for the side boosts. And one thing, if you are in like a bad position to get a side boost it's normally you want to play the ball and at least just try to stop people from getting like a clean hit with all their boosts at the oh no I missed see you can <laughs> you can hit a nice aerial shot on one side and then just completely miss the not moving ball on the other side and that is Rocket League this is Rocket League Oh! 1v1 is, yeah, it's literally just punishing the other player for their mistakes. Like here, he probably shouldn't even cheat it that far to get boost. That was a pretty sweet flick, though. I do not do those normally. I have the intention. But I don't know how I really actually pull it off. Can I turn this into a goal? 
No. That wasn't even on target. That's embarrassing. But that is not. And that's a free goal. And we tied. Yeah, so being good at 1v1 is a lot of just controlling yourself into not making like dumb mistakes because those happen a lot and kickoffs. Freaking kickoffs can kill you. Sometimes your kickoffs are doing good, like last game. And sometimes theirs is and there's nothing really to it. Maybe I shouldn't have got boost? No, we're good. Bait out the flick. Ah, he reads me. I'm not a ones player. Yeah, so he didn't go for side boost. A lot of times people will go, for, more inexperienced players will go for the side boost there. An attempt to like, just need to, not lose a 50 super hard so I can recover. I can punish that and I can I can square this. He screwed me up. So he doesn't have any booze, so I can play with this a little bit. Oh. No, we're just gonna keep a hold of the ball for now. I should have gone up earlier. That's a bummer. So it's only three goals. I would not be surprised if I, I'm not saying I'll win this game, but I would not be surprised if I score three more goals before the end of this game. And that's just once. That's one. I mean, I could win the game. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, <laughs> right? But. So he, see, he should have played. Yeah, he did play ball. He's smart. So I got boost. I want to keep starving him of boost so he can't play ball. And he has to give me some space. No, I can't do that. That was a waste of boost by me. But he's kind of boost star, so he's making play with plays. Just got boost. It's bad for me because he can punish. But he plays it bad. Uh oh, I have no boost. So he can, he can tell I have no boost the way I'm playing. It's not a good to touch. Yeah, that's game. Ah, I didn't actually score three more goals. Good for him, he plays a good defense. A lot of times you'll find players that like, like my last guy, right? Who kept going for like ceiling shots and stuff where they just come in and like, do not have any discipline at all. A lot of times me neither, right? And so they're super easy to punish. And like, they still might beat you because they're, you're equally as bad in my case, right? But um, those are kind of nice. Um, but like it's, it's much more rare that you find like a solid player, right? 
and that guy was solid, so I respect that. But like, so often I'll play ones and I'll play a guy who's like such an idiot, but he gets away with it because I'm not, I don't, I'm like not playing well enough on the day to actually punish him, and it, it's very frustrating because you're like, this guy is not a good ones player, but neither am I. <laughs> but you still don't want to lose to him. So see now, I played two, so now the way I've been playing is next loss will switch to twos. This is a North Texas player. Is that on? Yes. See? Kickoffs. Sometimes they're yours, sometimes they're not. And that's just part of the game. See how long we waited though for those aerials, because neither of us wanted to go for an aerial, right? But we both knew that the other would beat us. So we couldn't wait. Like we had both had to go for that aerial. Worked out in my favor. Oh what a save. He's gonna get a goal off that. Very nice. I think his profile picture is a butt. It's gross. Risky. But I got a good enough hit to make it worth. It's risky from him. He doesn't have much boost, so he has to drop. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. So I think that just came from a bad 50 for me right here. He totally got the advantage. Nailed it. Get them focused on the ball and just kill them. Hey, wait. Got a celebrity in my chat. I heard you're playing with Verge for RLRS. That's hype. Oh, I should have played ball. Oh, what a 50. Thank you. Yeah, the demo is pretty nice. A lot of times though, like you try that and it doesn't work and then you just screw it up and then you're overcommitted and demos are like frustratingly inconsistent. Sometimes you'll bump them, sometimes they'll die instantly. Sometimes you'll bounce backwards and they'll demo and it's not an exact science, so it's Screwed up that recovery, and now we run. So he can't do anything. Dude, that'd be awesome to scrim against Sunless. Guess he'd probably turn it, turn it into a video. Oh, what a shot. What did you guys name your team again? Because Scuff Station's a pretty good name, especially since, like, it isn't Sunless like part of Space Station? Like, I don't know. But I mean, that team's gonna be really good with Musty and Lath. It's not a good pinch. Dignasauce. 
That's pretty good as well. Oh no. Oh no. It's not bad. Yeah, no, I know. <laughs> Thanks for explaining the joke though. Oh, I gave him the ball. Take the push. Make him give it up. He knows I don't have much boost, so I can get one flick. Pumped him, but I have no boost. So I can't really do anything. Too high. What do you call Cosmo when he smurfs? Oh, let's see, Cosmo Buster. When he smurfs. I don't know. What do you what do you call Cosmo Buster when he smurfs? That was an interesting goal, but we take those. <laughs> what do you call I'm I'm very curious, waiting. Unless it's the emote, in which case I don't know Twitch emotes. You saw that joke from me? So it must be a good joke. Oh, what a touch. Um, and, and you remember it and I don't. Yikes. Surprise. <laughs> What's another word for a smurf? Ooh, I got the boost too, that's nice. Um, no, dude, I... Sorry, I <laughs> okay, so now I remember the joke, but I don't remember what I came up with. Cosmo Booster. It's Cosmo Booster. Right? Oh, nice shot. Cosmo Booster. Yeah, I see. I <laughs> you can't hold it. Can't hold me back. It's all coming back now. Oh, I thought that was off. Oh, so much for my two goal lead. Uh, that's, a, that's a good joke. That's a good joke. Whoever came up with that is uh, very intelligent. Shout out to Kickoff kick off Gods for giving me my lead back. One is another really great way to boost your average goals per game. Because, you know, in a twos game, I might... I might score like two goals, right, on a good game, but in ones, I get nine. So it's like it's like a KDA ratio where it's just standing bots shooting each other. What you gonna do? It's game over, bitch. A bit, dude. Give him that GG roll play. All right, play another. Ones is fun. Painted wheels. Ooh. Those are pretty sweet. Let's check those out. Shout out to the Rocket Pass. Say what you will about Rocket League. Oh, those look way cooler in the picture. Wow. Those could be very usable. Oh, same guy. Someone just follow, subscribe. I can't read that. 
Whatever it is, thank you. <laughs> we, we very much appreciate it. Hope you're enjoying everything. Oh. Get wrecked. Alright, can I put this on net? Yes! Yes, I can. Haha, <laughs> success. Ball. Oh, he gave me. Oh, no. That 50 win was devastating. I don't really think he should have won it that well. He got a really lucky recovery. Not lucky. He got a good recovery. I don't know if it was by intention. But, you know what? More power to you, buddy. And, like, I may have beat this guy by two goals last time, but... This game could go. There is no advantage. It's like 50 50. 60 40, maybe, in his favor. Should not have. Should not have gone for an aerial. That was a huge mistake. I regret everything. Success. Success. Oh no, I cannot. You guys missed it, but Haskell totally left his keys here when he was trying to help me set up. He had to just come grab him. Yeah, there was some technical difficulties, which is why we didn't start at three. Oh, am I gonna do something? Nope. I'm actually going to miss the ball completely. As I always plan to do. He almost had a flick there. Dude, when I get to the point of ones where people are actually good, or like they can flick consistently and stuff, I'm going to be so screwed. Or when they can like hit open nets, that'll really do me in. The doc, yeah, he was right here. I don't know if you guys could see him on the camera. Probably not. Let me go use the ball here. Oh, I did not nail that flick. Can we get boozed? That was super greedy, but he got a really unlucky bounce. Yay! Oh. What a shot. Monumental. Oh, that was a bad touch. I don't like that. What you got, buddy? Oh. This is mine. No. Stupid post. Ah, stupid me. Just kidding. Oh, no, 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 no. Dang it, I did it again. I've been not hitting the shots. You want boost? Worth. What 
you gonna do? It's a tough read for you, buddy. What you got for me? Oh, he's gonna do something fancy. Very cool. Another ceiling shot. This is what a madman. Oh, nice shot. But yeah, see, I can beat him one game and then just get absolutely wrecked by him the next. Okay. the ball. I'm gonna push this really hard. Should not have done that. Eh. Alright, let's use my cool. GG. I'll play. Alright, now I don't have to play ones anymore. See, there's a silver lining. Yeah. Dude, waiting ones is so much like learning learning ones because it's such a different game mode. Like twos and threes, you can totally carry over stuff. But like ones, it's a completely different set of rules and like mechanics even. Because like, that, it was working for that guy doing these shots and stuff, but like a good player <laughs> could totally punish those. And basically, the, the idea of ones is to not make mistakes, right? And those like highly mechanical ones are like so prone to mistakes that they're just unviable. Knock yourself out, buddy. Cronk OS. Do I sell bathwater? Not yet, but me and my coworkers were talking about that today, so it definitely could be arranged. You know, I just need to make sure that there's enough demand, right? That's off. That's on. That's totally on. Actually, I don't even have bath. So, no. The answer is no. Yes, I have. I actually got GC in twos and threes for like the first time ever. Which is pretty sweet. But yeah, I don't have a bath. My apartment just has a shower. Oh my god. How did I miss that? Oh, we got the boost spawn. Oh, he really should have hit it into me so I could have scored. Focus. Teammate. Oh. oh, he got the boost. Teammate, thank you. He's triggered when he gets tuck, he gets demoed. Probably a great teammate. Really supportive. It's like demoing's part of the game, guys. To chill out. But yeah, the probability of this guy being someone to quick chat the heck out of me. You know what? Someone should make a video teaching people to make how to be a good teammate, like Solo's teammate. That would be a really great video. Oh, sorry. Okay, he said no problem. So maybe he just got mad about being demoed. 
Maybe he's like pretty chill. Seems like a high demand for bad teammates, which means, which makes like, you know, that kind of video would be super popular probably because they all want to learn and get better, right? Would be like their main goal. That was a banger of a shot, dude. Can you follow it up? Great pass, dude. This guy's popping. We take those. All down the back. He just do your thing, buddy. Shocks Q. Think he cheated? Yeah, he cheated. Sometimes it's hard to tell if the audio cues. I don't think he wants me to go for that again. Oh. All right. This guy. That was. I can't do this. So I can't explain this to you guys. But he totally did a flip reset, which means you get all four wheels on the ball. I don't know who's watching. You know what? He probably has it on in the background. He just got to the point about like doing flip resets. Uh, that guy beats me. Unless he misses. Hey, I scored. These guys are throwing. What'd this guy do? Oh, he went for a Squishy saves are uh, meta, by the way, guys. They're totally usable. I'll push. One up. You find me? Oh, I should have put that on. Still get past them. See if I can demo this guy. Nope. It's off. What you got? I have a question waiting. Was one of your things go to the back post? I haven't actually seen the video yet. I, you know, because I'm a perfect solo standard, solo teammate. So I was like, yeah, there's no reason for me to watch that video. But I, you know, I will just to support my boy, of course. I haven't got around to it yet. But do you talk about going back post? Because that, that's the meme, right? Like every video. Wait and says go back post. Which, you know what? Everyone needs to hear. It's more about play style. Go back post is play style. Miss, missed opportunity, to be honest. Squishy save. I did it. I saved it. Yeah, no, you have to. I mean, realistically, it should just be like your outro. Like, hey, this was waiting. Don't forget to go back post because that's very important. Hey, this guy's from the Netherlands, but he's pretty good. My brother is calling me. I'm going to ask him if it's important. Oops. My roommate asked if I needed a ride. I said not for a butt. You weren't focused, dude. You were killing it. Continue to not focus. Oh shit, I should hope she's okay. I don't know. Is losing your phone like I don't know how to interpret that. Okay, wait. If I'm a player, I want my teammates to go back post. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> my brother called me because, quote, are you home right now? Because I have to take a shit. <laughs> Try 
truly legendary. Okay, I'll wait. I, I, I will watch it. Everyone else should also. All the seven people, eight people, if you include Facebook, people watching this should definitely go and treat themselves to a waiting YouTube video on how to be a good Rocket League. Oh yeah, go ahead, dude. Just take my boost. Yep, put it to good use. All right, buddy, knock yourself out. I don't like this teammate yet. No, okay, yep, knock yourself out. Not like I have a straight shot or anything on that. You know what? Wait, that's gonna be start being the ultimate like cheese. Is anytime I play with a teammate who, whose playstyle I don't like, I'm just gonna link your video. And like in the chat, just be like, watch this. You need it. Maybe I'll like send it to them on Steam or something. I don't know. Some way to cheese them into saying, hey, watch this freaking video because you need to learn how to be a good teammate, right? Step one, don't have 460 ping. And be a lag in the game. It's always a good thing to do. Oh, go for that ball. Yeah, I don't like this game. I'm not gonna complain. I don't like to complain about my teammates, especially with people watching. Because it's it's not nice. But uh if I was not streaming, I'd probably just be complaining about this guy. And to be fair, he's probably just complaining about me because that's the nature of the game, so. Credit to him, that was a good shot. Do another thingy, or you do something good. Oops, I screwed up. Yep, hit me with that. Wow, dude. It's one, one of the things you should definitely be. You could probably make a sequel to that video. Step one, don't stream on Mixer. I can say that because I'm not streaming on Mixer right now. I think we have an account, but... <laughs> nice shot, dog. Nope, yeah, just... Advertise their TikTok? <laughs> That's a screenshot worthy thing. I wanna see that. Might have even have worked. Yep, go ahead. Did he hit me with a wow before I saved it? What a guy. Hey, X Rock. Well, clan tags, you're fine, right? Clan tags. Clan tags, no one's gonna give you. When your name is mixer.com slash C Wheeler, it's like, bruh, we all know you have one viewer, okay? Oh, hit me with a wow now that I didn't save it, buddy. No? Could it be because you... Oh, there we go. There's the wow. Add, yeah, exactly. 
101.3 dot Adam. He's gonna go for this. I'm not even gonna give him a nice shot. I know it's toxic. But you know what? I don't like him. Nope, not a good pass. He's gonna stay on it, so. Custom emote time. Wait, custom emotes? <gasps> He's not bad, actually. I just don't like his place now. Because it basically, like the thing I don't like about his playstyle is he kind of like just forces his playstyle onto you. He's like, play with me the way I want to be played. I should have scored that. Or like, good luck because we're just going to lose, right? Because like I have zero shots. I'm a very heavy shooter generally, and especially in twos. But instead, I'm like sitting my ass on defense, doing that over and over again so that he can go grab midfield boost, you know, and then hit the ball up really high for them to hit because obviously I don't have any boost. But we won, so who, who really cares, you know? See us stop money. Oh yeah, those are the best. He may even like do some smack talk because he's staying around in the lobby, which means he's yearning for it. Yeah, the CS or the just trading sites in general advertisements are kind of uh, hard to stomach. Just because, like, plus those sites are so scammy, it's like actually has some insight on you as an individual if you're advertising them. Maybe not scammy, but. No, Coral, get out of my chat. Aoha? Aoha? Is that like a person? Or is that like a CS? I have never heard of them. Koro, actually, if you have uh, painted Dominus Suji, I am interested. Oh. Uh, so they probably hit you up being like, hey, what a. That's weird. Who even trades on Rocket League? Trading's dead. With blueprints. I can get white zombas for 10 bucks. So. Dang it. Well then just get out of my stream then. Cora. Yeah, four times. You're not even a small creator. You're like the biggest creator in Rocket League, right? Buying runes. I don't think I ever played Diablo. Actually, no, I played Diablo 3 with my coworkers, but. Oh my god, really? Oh, I don't know. That <laughs> That's sad. Hey, this guy plays for Cal Poly, I believe. He's gonna want that mid boost. Or... He's on the wall, maybe? No, he's not. Oh, I got you, buddy. Oh, is this the guy that has, like, Zac Efron in his profile picture?
black. That's that's frustrating. Especially like if you're a game developer and you're gonna put like have a trade, I feel like there should most definitely be a way to like remove that from the socket, right? If people are spending hundreds of dollars on these things, you need to have like a safety feature like that. We got him. My teammate is carrying me with two points. Absolute star. I'm not ball chasing. Guys, you're watching me. I'm just taking advantage. That was a good pass. He's no, he's not. I'm not even. I don't think he's that bad. See, like, teammates like him, if he can stay out of the way, it's, like, much better than that other guy last game. And he can be, he's, like, positive, saying nice one. Like, yeah, I don't know. I really, I appreciate, I like, I like them more than the alternative of the team. Oh. WTF went through my car. And now he's complaining about the game. Yeah, you missed that, dude. <laughs> that was awesome. Oops. Oh, he's right there. And I must return. I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. He has one ball touch. He has a pass. That was not my intention. Can I have mid boost, buddy? Nope. Oh, I got boost. Much appreciate. Yeah, so wait, and there's basically one, like, the way Haskell has it set up, it streams through all the sites simultaneously and, like, keeps up on everything. So, like, I have I have the chats from all the different sites. Twitch is, like, the only one that anyone ever uses, right? But I have them all. Um, and it has a little, like, icon next to the name for, like, where they chat. And I can chat to all the ones if I want. I shouldn't have jumped for that. But like no one's talking in Facebook or YouTube, so that's not really an option issue. But yeah, basically like those two monitors, right? Nice. See, he guys, he's pulling his weight. Not the best touch I could have made. Not bad. But yeah, there's like a second monitor. That's why I keep looking this way and then going there. Um, and it has like my feed. It's, it's OBS, basically. Pretty cool setup, though. I think it's called like Restream or something. Oh, I screwed up. Yeah, throw me with that for. Dude, I thought he was chill. You'd love to see it. And this man goes to Cal Poly College, so he's representative. He's not. 
but like I'm so glad I don't have any people like this on my team. Boise State were a pretty good boot bunch. Now I guess I'm ball chasing. <laughs> Coral, I'm telling you, even you are better than this guy, just AFKing. Wow, he left the match. That's a 15 minute ban. So, I hope it was worth it, buddy. Sorry, right, I can play three, I don't mind. Nice shot. No problem, bud. I can still report him there, right? Yeah, good. Even though it doesn't do anything, right? What are you guys saying? It's a TOS to be. To be. I don't know. I don't know how it works. I'm not gonna get into it. I know that we have like a partnership with Twitch for like Twitch students and stuff, so I would be. Just trying to sympathize. See, they're they're probably good people. Um. Yeah. I don't know. Also, we just kind of... No, who reads Terms of Service? Sorry. Man, I really wanted to see this room when I went to college tour a few weeks ago, but man, it looks... It's really sweet. Um, I'm trying to think. I don't think there's a way I can, like, use a cam, but we have some cams. Did I just hear Twitch students? Yeah. We have, like, this banner for Twitch students um, outside the re this battlegrounds. But like, I've looked it up. I don't think it. I don't think it actually does anything. It might be like with our gaming club or something. But like, we we definitely use Twitch. And we've been like on the front page before, so it's not like. I don't know how it works. I have no idea. I'm sure that we could get in trouble for that at some point. But I just do as I'm told. Yeah, I mean, you guys can look it up. I don't actually know that much information about Twitch students, but yeah. Um, Civil, the this is a pretty sweet room, especially now that like you can stream from it. I thought that was a really cool thing that they set up, basically. So. Not to mention the arena. I like the arena way better, personally. Ooh, I missed. I just saw that boost pawn right after I passed it. Dude, come to BSU. I love it. casters <laughs> you should definitely if you haven't already definitely check out one of the streams i think we have one i don't know we'll have some coming up pretty soon but our season our seasons we're kind of in the off season right now like checking out the streams is the best way uh to kind of get an idea of what it would actually be like if, i don't know if you're like playing or coming to the, either way whether you're like playing or you'd be coming uh just to the games yeah I really enjoy it here. I I live in Boise. I was considering going to University of Utah because their esports program. Uh, but then I found out that BSU's has has one. Bro, 
I have it. Don't go for it too. I hate PlayStation 4 players. Ah. Geek a week from the day. Yeah, well, we have a CS CSL game tomorrow, but it's not being streamed, so. Thanks, guys. Oh, I I don't think anyone knows who's playing. Right, nice shot. Oh, CSL. Uh, it's Baynock, Tacky, and I. And we're, we're actually going to have to go down to the arena. According to... I don't think we're being streamed. But we were told to go down to the arena from Haskell. So... Yeah, they're the only ones in town, so... Not that I don't want them. Obviously, they're great. I'm a caster from home. <laughs> yes. I think it's at 11 in the morning, though, so good luck. I missed. Oh, he definitely missed. That should be an open net. There we go, buddy. <gasps> oh, Liam Coastcaster? That would be hype. Do you get like a new computer? Or just like a new... Alive in the fall of 2022. I mean, League will probably still be kicking. But... I don't know, getting good at League. Also, it's going to be hard because like our teams, I think, by like 2022, I would imagine our teams are really good. Just because... All the support we've put into him is going to pay off. <laughs> but I like the Apex, but it has not... I don't think it even survives now, personally. Oh, I screwed up. Oh, this is such a solo standard match. Project. What's that? Is that like to do with the streaming setup? I pulled the trigger on three mics and some cameras. Dude, that's hype. That's like an actual setup, dang. World League. I didn't even know they were having World League. Yeah, I mean, it's hard to predict what will still be around. I don't even know if Rock League will be still be in esports in 2022. Because, I don't know, sometimes, sometimes you think we're growing, sometimes it looks like it's over, so. Yeah, wait, and I've been thinking about that. I was like, how would you shout out BSU? Right. Yeah, it's hard. Um, the only way I can think of is like maybe like um, you could do a video of like my experience with collegiate esports. It's kind of like a a doc almost, right? And that's three days ago. Yeah. Wait, that's a tough one. I mean, if I have any, like, really good ideas, or if there's, like, an event, you might want to mention that to Doc. Because, like, once you tell him you got 25,000 subscribers, you know, I bet he gets a little bit more interested <laughs> in, like, maybe doing a collaboration of some kind. If that would... I don't know. It's a, it's a weird road, and I don't know, like, how it would work for you without looking like... Yeah. You know, but yeah content content is definitely blowing up which is awesome is like a good sign right 
<laughs> I mean, to be fair, like a year ago, you weren't nearly as big. You kind of blew up because of all the hard work you put in, right? 100% deserved, so. Uh, it only got announced three days ago. That's why I'm trying to look for games that might blow up. Yeah. Um, I'm, I mean, I'm going to admit, I got really lucky with Rocket League because I just played Rocket League when it went free at PlayStation Plus. And then, like... Um, I just played it with some friends because I had a friend coming over there that I was like, fuck it, let's, I'm just, I mean, screw it. I'm just going to download this game. I'm just going to download this game and we're going to try it out when he comes over, right? Because it's free. And it ended up like being super fun. We didn't even look at the controls. And then I started, I think we, like, I didn't really play it after that. And me and my brother started playing it. And we initially just only played like the bots, the season mode, right? Which is kind of a joke looking back. We did that for, for like months, right? Like that we would just play that. I don't know about months, but we for like a decent amount of time, right? Or we were like, okay at the game. And then, and then by no means good, like, right? But, and then like, I happenstance, I happened upon um, MLG and their whole like Rocket League event, right? Which was really big for the scene. With like, I buy power, cosmic, and kings of urban, like the old school stuff. Oh, that was a big miss. Um, old school stuff with like Cronovi, and I was like, oh my, people can play the, this game like that, like that's insane. I was like, dude, Felix, who's my brother, we gotta get on this. I, we like, we actually played online for the first time, right? Started like playing a lot, like every day after school. And it's just been a slow grind since, but yeah. I was definitely like never really, I never like started with the intention of being this good. And I'm not even that good, but, right? But it's definitely like, I just played a game that I really liked and it got to the point where it was actually, I got good enough because I played it enough. Um, but then it actually became viable, which was awesome. Yeah. Well, and then I switched to PC, and that was a big change. But I got really into this twos league called Minor League Doubles. How did I demo him? What? Um, Minor League Doubles, and that just really helped me get a little bit more competitive and, like, want to put more into it online. Uh, so, yeah. Not even that good. I'm not, dude. There are people who are so much better than me. Like... If I were to get to that level, I'd have to put so much more time in. Like, I'm good. Don't get me wrong. Right? But their people are so much more better than me. So if I'm going to read that in a sec, I just can't. Think about sixth grade. I just can't focus right now on chat. Just hit me in the middle. Oh, what a pass. That was insane. Holy. He nailed that pass. Uh, Sixth grade when it happened, I'm sorry. Yeah, dude, it has. I, I mean, it was always awesome. I'm just surprised how like how well it worked out. Yeah. Civil, so, do you play Rocket League or is it Apex? Nice shot, buddy. Dude, the first aerial goals feel so good. When you start nailing those, because, like, when I first started playing, I didn't even recognize that I could do those, right? I didn't know that those were an option. It's like, what, people can fly with the cars? Like, oh, my God. Like, I had just been over here driving around, you know, occasionally, like, yeah. That, like, opened up my whole world, and so I actually, to be able to... When I first started doing that, it was awesome. That's what partially what I like about this game so much. It's like it's equally fun when you're terrible. 
right? Like, you can be really bad at this game, and it's still a blast. Because it's just, like, such small steps, right? But, like, you come in here, and, like, me, I can still do stuff that's, like, well, I've had a couple of the stream where you're like, wow, that was awesome, right? And it still feels awesome. Like, just to have that level of enjoyment across every level of good like because there's a lot of like esports games like csgo or dota or league basically i would almost say any other where it's like you can play it like you could start playing it but it's really hard to get unless you are at a next level right but like rocket League, you can jump in you can show this to anybody and it's like mario kart like they get it and they can have so much fun and i've been like questioning this point for a while i just that's like my favorite thing about Rocket League. 100%. Uh, Civil, if you do buy the game, it's a lot of fun. It goes on sale all the time. I would not be surprised if it goes free to play soon on the Epic Store, but that hasn't happened yet, which has been surprising. Uh, and you, you, will, you will figure it out. You'll get the game. Like, you don't understand it, but once you play it, like, you'll get it. And you just watch a couple of, play the tutorial, like, um, watch some, like, watching me play. Not to, like, or waiting. He has a great YouTube channel. Um, just kind of learning the basics of, like, competitive play, like, aerials and stuff. And your whole world opens up, and it's amazing. So, I would highly recommend it, but... Three months. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Add a flip resets. Not worth. Like, so many things are not worth. Like, they look cool, yeah. I'm not saying they're not viable, right? But, like, if you're going to, if you had two choices. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, no, no. They're legit. They're awesome. They look cool. Some guy did it on my team. Works. They they work. Same with ceiling shots. But like, if you're actually trying to get better at the game, those can be fun to work on and like practice. Or like, you know, what's really fun is air drags. But like, those aren't what's gonna make you better. What's gonna make you better is like consistency in front of net and stuff. Because you can maybe do like an air drag like once or twice. Air dribble once or twice, right? In a game, maybe. And maybe it's successful like 30% of the time. So that maybe is like one goal a game. But like if you can learn just how to position and how to hit the ball every time you try, that's going to result in so many more wins. But again, it can be fun too. So I'm not saying you shouldn't, right? Because look at me in free training. All I do is just air dribble. So I feel bad saying that that's not usable, but... Yeah, it's a mixed bag. It's a mixed bag. Don't don't let that be the only thing, right? This is, I guess, what I'm trying to say. Because if you are in Diamond 1 and you know how to flip reset, it's not going to, like, win you games. I mean, it will. But it's not, it's not going to, like, be the difference maker. You won't be like, oh, now I can flip reset and I got out of Diamond. Or I don't know what, rank gold maybe. But whatever. Or aerials, even. I don't know. Aerials are a game changer. Wall reads. These are the things that, like, will change the game for you. Yeah, definitely waiting. That's very true. Just waiting. He made a fantastic video where he analyzed like a ridiculous amount of replays at every level to see like what you could improve on at every level to to like rank up. Like what was the difference? Like what was the what were what were resulting in goals? Right? Oh no. Whoops. I've been 
Sorry, guys. Um, that was such a great video, dude. It needs more credit. But yeah, he bas like basically what the differences are. I can't link it, but like, yeah, it's a great video. Sorry, buddy. This is turning into a solo sander game. You'll need one goal. Teammate, a shot. Pushing on the ball, and just like flying right past it on the left. The you'd be surprised how much, Adam. You'd be very surprised how much like takeoff can improve your aerials. Um, like there'll be aerials I'll go for, and like, or just because of the takeoff, like I know it's already over. And so being able to get that takeoff right, like predicting where the ball is gonna go, right? And being able to like look at that and be like, oh, this is where I can, this is how I should jump to get there, would probably be one of the most helpful things you could do. Then yeah, maybe if you do have the angle, then 100% working on not overcorrecting. And just keeping your, your car straight. You could, uh, one thing you can do is just like practice going up and down in free training rather than like on a moving ball, right? Or like do one of the trainings, aerial shots training or something. Oh. Yeah. It, it, it'll come with practice for sure, no matter what. So I can't keep up with chat right now because this game is kind of intense. Oh yeah, go for it, buddy. There we go. Depending on the back pose. <laughs> I feel like I miss a lot of the chats in here and I feel bad. I just, normally chat isn't so busy. I appreciate it. I really like having people to talk with while I play. It seems to be working because we're winning a lot of our games, so. I don't have boost. Can't go for that. Yeah, Rocket League's a good therapy game, in my opinion. Cause like, like I said before, like since you can play at such a low level, it has a really like, I don't know. I think it's easy to enjoy yourself while playing it, right? Cause like, I don't know. It has like dopamine rushes, and there's, if you're playing with the right people, 
it's very hard to like have a lot of negative thoughts. I don't know. Like it's hard to use. Yeah, you know, like, um, but like, I don't know. I you keep using the league, but me, me and Koro play it. But like, double kill, triple kill. You like dopamine rush. Look at me, I'm so good, right? But I don't know. A lot of that game is also like, if I took, if I was trying to take it, like, actually play. I don't. Know, I feel like it'd be a lot of. When I started, it was definitely like a lot of. I don't know what I'm doing, and I'm just keep making mistakes, and I feel bad. And like, yeah, it feels good not to make mistakes, but like, it's such a slow. The dopamine rollout is so slow with Rocket League. You hit a cool goal, and you're like, "That was awesome." Yeah, I totally get that. Definitely, like, unattached and helps. Like, there's. I mean, Koro and Waiten can probably speak to, like, there's, especially Koro, there's, like, t <laughs> I play Rocket League in, like, two different modes, you know, where I'm, like, trying really hard, or where I'm, like, just, I really don't care about anything. Um, right? And that's, I think that's really important to be able to do. Because, like, if I'm trying hard, I'm going to feel bad if I make a mistake. Like, and you guys have seen me. I, obviously, I'm not, like, super torn up about <laughs> missing a shot. Because even my try-hard mode is pretty relaxed. But, like, if we're just playing unranked, I don't know if anyone was here for our stream two weekends, like, two weeks ago with Koro, where the frame rates were dropping. So I ended up just playing, like, the fun game modes. And we didn't actually play any ranked Rocket League. Is It was a completely different... Uh, vibe like we were we were pre-jumping each other's shots like yeah and we were just trying to do st cool stuff and we weren't at all focusing on not making mistakes right so wait and is rocket assault that one like rocket league game that's in like early not early access but like it hasn't been released yet on steam and it's like rocket like you control a car and it's like racing game i don't know i'm not explaining it very well but i feel like i've seen it's like neon it's like tron and you control like a, a rocket league car but it's like racing instead of hitting a ball i guess i think it looked really fun Ah, oh, I published again. Oh, I gave you a beta key? God damn, perks of being a fucking influencer. That's gonna be a good one. I was, I'm not, it's on my wish list. I'm probably gonna, I don't know. If it's like actually fun to replay, like I feel like that's gonna be the biggest issue for us. Like I'll play it for a few days, really enjoy it, and then I'll just get old, done with it. Because it seems like they're definitely going for the Rocket League crowd when they call it Rocket Assault, right? And it has like almost the same controls. That's cool, I'm looking forward to that. That guy's boost sound is really annoying. No boost for you. That reminds, reminds me of a game I think I was excited for and then when it came out I didn't care it was like PUBG with cars but like where cars like it's called not my car I think it's still out but it's like so they have guns and stuff but they're on cars so you drive around a map and like in the end it just didn't come out very po po polished or it didn't have any players either so while it was kind of a cool idea 
right? Ended up not being the thing. Not my car reached out for you? Hmm. I mean, I'd play it with you. I think I, I'm not sure if I own it or not. I might have had like an alpha test or something and I never, I don't think I ever played it. Yeah, it makes sense. I don't blame you. Yeah, like I said, it, it isn't a very polished game and like the graphics are pretty, but, and so, I just, and there's no player base. So it's kind of hard to like, probably enjoy it, I would imagine. But I mean, the idea was there, it looked kind of fun. Also kind of looked like a rehash of PUBG, but, because that was the whole battle royale craze, right? And which is like still going on, I guess. I don't know. Ping pong, you don't want many boosts, get out of here. That's for having an annoying boost, Sam. Kill, 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 kill. Okay, thank you, Chris. That's weird though, that they reached out to you, because, like, it's been out for a while. It wasn't like it just came out. What about Raid Shadow Legends? You gotta do a Raid Shadow Legends video. Oh, that was kind of a nut shot. Go team. Nope. That was not my intention. Neither of these teams. Someone's just gonna make a really bad mistake and the other team's gonna score because neither of these teams really have any offensive pressure. Yep, yep. leave immediately. Rocket League. You see, Civil, I said the same thing about League and then I got into it, so. I have heard Modern Warfare is pretty fun. It just takes a certain, wow, those are so dark. Jesus. All right. Yeah, that's fair. If you've tried MOBA games, then like, you know it. Like I had never played MOBA. I just looked at them and been like, this looks really hard. No, thank you. But, and then I gave it a shot and I was like, whoa, this is kind of fun. Oh, all right. I think I might call it here, you guys. Maybe we'll play one more like casual game while I tell my roommate. Uh... Yeah, I think I'm gonna call it. But uh, thanks for stopping by. This was a really great stream. It was really nice having everyone in chat and like a nice surprise didn't, you know, um, chat be moving too fast for me to read during games. <laughs> uh, I'm going to keep streaming Fridays 3 to 5, hopefully, about is what I'm shooting for. Um, but we'll see how, like, games get in the way of that. But I'm going to try to have, like, a consistent schedule. So, yeah.
Dude, I bet Doc's been here the whole time. Just watching and reading. It's your time slot, yes. All right, thanks, guys.